Hey guys, so here is the initial color palette of all of my Posca markers and I just have them divided into these two jars into kind of warm colors and cool colors. So I want to show you this first marker and how it has this felt tip here. These are some markers that I've had for a while and they are a 2.5 millimeter size so it's not the biggest size but it's basically a medium size and then this is what a new marker looks like um, and it's a little bit smaller size it is a 1.3 millimeter size and so when you get the new marker you just kind of have to pump the nib and shake it a bit so that the paint fills in so you can see the difference here between these two paints and here are some other new markers that i just got that also have um, this uh, skinnier nib on the end so they do come in several different sizes um, but I, what i've found so far and i don't know it might just be where i'm located in the u.s but i've looked on um, blick's website and i've also looked on amazon and i can't seem to find these colors in every single size and um, that's okay because I don't need every single size but um, I think that these markers are gaining popularity for sure and um, I think that we'll just continue to see more colors being added to the Posca markers which is exciting but the limitation right now with using Posca markers is you do have um, such limited choices with colors which is why I wanted to kind of show you this color palette here so I'm just gonna be filling in um, my new colors that I just got on on my master uh, color palette here and I'm gonna make a second copy to kind of be able to use these colors as uh, sort of like Pantone chips. Um, so that way you can, you know, kind of see what colors are looking nice together before you start your drawing um, or painting. I don't know if we're supposed to call this a drawing or a painting since it's paint, but in a marker. So this is the red wine color that I just got. And it's nice because um, you do need some darker colors uh, to be able to layer onto the lighter colors. Um, and you don't always want to use black. So I, you know, especially with these thinner nibs um, I just I decided to get um, this navy color here the red wine the slate the fuchsia some colors that I didn't already have in the more medium size so I'm just gonna kind of pump this nib and hold it down and I want you to see how the uh, paint is starting to fill out this nib here so you just have to be a little bit patient when you first get them and allow the paint to totally um, kind of soak into the nib before you can start um, draw, I'm gonna say drawing. <laughs> I feel like this is more drawing than painting uh, since painting is usually done with a brush. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna continue filling out these colors so that you can see them and hopefully it'll help you decide which colors you wanna get for your own color palette. Um, for these, I kinda had to buy a good number of colors. Um, you know, it's not like a crazy number of colors, but since there aren't a ton, ton, ton of colors that exist, I feel like I've bought almost all the colors at this point. So um, you can just see from the palette uh, which colors, you know, you're liking. So these are the different sizes of the nib. The... Um, the last two sizes are actually the same measurement. It's a 0.7 millimeter, um, but they come in these different uh, points. So I thought that was kind of interesting that they had those two options. And when I bought them, I actually thought that the white marker was a little bit smaller. I didn't really check the measurements. Um, I just looked at the photos and assumed it would be smaller. So I'm gonna slide this paper over my master palette and I've created these um, second copies of all of the colors so that we can create a limited color palettes using these Posca markers. So I just want to show you what's possible with the colors that are available and I kind of have my master palette for my brand um, in mind. So I'm just kind of you know, I'm not able to copy it exactly because these colors are so limited, but I am just trying to kind of see what works um, and that would kind of, you know, be in the same vein for my brand color palette. Um, and so that's sort of what I'm just kind of playing with here. And, you know, it's easy just to kind of move these chips around and see what's looking good together. So I think that's like relatively close. Um, it's not going to be perfect since, yeah, since we can't even mix colors with the Posca markers. So that's another limitation for the Posca markers is that you can't really mix them. Um, one nice thing though is that you can draw on top of them. So once the paint is dry, 
it is acrylic paint and so you can just go right on top of it so if I wanted to create more of a pastel palette here this is something that would be possible um, with these lighter brighter colors and so I just want to zoom on zoom in on that for a second so that you guys can see the colors a little bit better um, and then if I wanted to create kind of a more wintry or, you know, neutral palette, I'm going to kind of play with these neutrals. The slate gray tends to look very cool. It looks, um, and by cool, I mean like cool colors. <laughs> it's a little bit bluer, whereas the gray is kind of a warmer gray. Um, the brown is kind of a medium brown. I wish I had a darker brown, but maybe the red wine will do for that. And so now I'm just going to, you know, pull out some of my brighter colors and kind of see if I can make a bright summery palette here. And I think this is looking kind of nice. It's quite beachy, quite coastal. Um, and yeah, just really fun and bright kind of reminds me of something I might use for a bathing suit. Um, and so I just want to show you the difference in the thickness of these markers. Again, I don't have the the thickest size of the Posca markers and the reason why I didn't get the thickest size is because I figured if I want to color in a background color or something like that I would just use regular acrylic paint um, if I really wanted to go thicker than this so I feel like the 2.5 millimeter is as thick as I need to go so that's what these three lines are in these three colors. So you can just really see how they look on top of the white. And I just put a black uh, rectangle here so you can see also how they lay on top of a base color. Um, and so the medium one or the next one is a 1.3 millimeter. It is still quite thin. So, um, so yeah, uh, and this one is also the 1.3. So you can just see how that is a step down from the 2.5 millimeter. And I'm just going to section this off really quick and show you the 0.7 millimeter, which is the thinnest. So this nib here is 0.7. This other slate color that I got is also 0.7. Great for, you know, smaller details or outlines. As well as this red wine color. And you can see how it appears on the black as well. And then I'm going to show you this uh, white pen which is also a 0.7 millimeter even though the nib is different so that's kind of what um i guess tricked me a little bit when i was buying these but they are actually the same size but i'm just going to draw on the back black here so that you can see um, it show up if you have any questions at all about posca markers leave me a comment below such as what paper is the best to use, or if you'd like to see a final illustration from me using these Posca markers, also leave me a comment below and let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. I am hidden. Reaching out for your hands. Can you feel me? Trying to give us a